Hey guys, this, is, uh, this will be my fifth and final video showing you how you can shift the world tendency from pure black to pure white in the Valley of Defilement. If this is your first time playing Demon Souls and you don't understand the tendency mechanic, I made a video explaining it in full details and everything in that video will apply to the remake as well because it's the same system, so give it a try. Before we start, make sure that there is at least one boss alive in the specific archstone you want to turn from pure black world tendency to pure white, otherwise you'll be missing one point from being like pure white. Make sure you follow this guide step by step, otherwise it will not work. The first thing you need to do is disconnect from the internet and start the game in offline mode so that you'll be on the safe side and nothing will bother you. After that, load the game and make sure you stay in soul form for the whole process. Do not revive to your human or body form at all. So if you are in body form, which means like you have your full health and all that stuff, go to the nexus and then just jump off and die and that will put you back in soul form. So before you start, look at your menu for world tendency and check that the tendency in the Valley of Defilement is pure black. So the first thing you do is go to the Swamp of Sorrow, follow the path until you drop down in the swamp, and all you have to do is keep walking in a straight line, make sure you have some healing items and things to cure poison. A cool thing about this level is that both the Black Phantom and the Primeval Demon are both in the same air, like very close to each other, so you will not have to take long paths to get there, and you won't have to go like through multiple areas. After going straight, at some point you'll reach this island that will have a couple depraved ones, so what you can do is just stick to the right and sprint into the island and go behind them and go on the wooden bridge inside of the tunnel. Keep going straight in the tunnel and then to the right you'll see at a distance there's a black phantom on an island and that's going to be Selen. So this fight against Selen is going to be a little bit difficult because she has a weapon that goes through shield and it can one-shot you. And then there's the second thing is that you're going to be in the swamp and you can't actually roll dodge. If you try it's going to like stun lock you or something. And she also casts anti-magic field, which will stop you from using ma magic. Some people use arrows to kill her. So the best method to kill her is to use like a heavy weapon, something like a claymore, and hit her twice. And what that will do is make her step backward, or she will roll backwards. And every time you do that, you just like hit twice, she'll do the same thing. You step away and just hit her twice, and then keep repeating the same process. And make sure that you always have some stamina to like back away in case she tries to attack you. And also make sure you heal yourself because the poison is going to be doing damage to you. So make sure you keep yourself alive. And when she's at 30%, what she will do is try to back away and cast a miracle to heal herself. So all you have to do is just stop her from that. She's going to try to do it over and over and over. So the fight actually becomes easier. And that way you can easily kill her. Once you kill her, pick up the blind weapon. Don't go back to the nexus. Make sure you stay in soul form and don't try to port between areas. Also, it's okay if you die as long as you are in soul form. Never go back to human form or body form. And then after that, all you have to do is like stick to the left and keep going straight until you reach a small island that has two great depraved one and also another one black phantom depraved one. So the primeval is going to be to the left of those three depraved ones. So the best thing to do here is try to lure them one by one and kill them because if you try to run, they will not let you go and they will keep chasing until the end of the world. Sometimes it's possible to make them get stuck or glitch out like if you go back and then try to go behind them and kill the primeval. Or another method would be is just go behind them and then as soon as you get in a safe area, just save and exit your game and then come back. This will spawn you back and then you'll be able to kill the primeval demon. Once you kill the primeval demon, take the colorless demon soul and then after that it's, it's gonna be okay for you to port back to the nexus. And once you do that, your world tendency will update to almost being pure white. So all you have to do now is either kill the Dirty Colossus boss or like the Maiden Astraea at the end of the Valley of Defilement. And also make sure you do it in soul form. And after you beat them, make sure you port back so that your world tendency update and it's going to be pure white. And you'll notice the like the bright yellow glow on your world tendency. And that should tell you that you're in pure white world tendency. And it should work if you follow this guide step by step. At this point, I would suggest you to remain in soul form and never go back to body form because there are still some things that you have to do and some... NPCs that you have to fight. Go back to the Nexus and die so you'll be in soul form if you're in body form. So with Wide World Tendency, here's what you can expect to see. So what you can do is first teleport to the first area in Valley of Defilement and keep going as if you're trying to reach the first boss. Keep going until you reach the room that has a bunch of rats. Go straight, like before the bridge. Turn to the left and you'll see a ladder that will take you to an area that wasn't was inaccessible when you had like neutral world world tendency and only opens when you have white world tendency. So take the ladder and keep going up. Then keep going straight. You're gonna go to a room that has a great depraved one. Kill him and then go up, and then you're gonna be in a, like an upper floor of the same building that has three great depraved one. And there's gonna be a weapon in the middle, and that's a, and that's the Estrel weapon. Make sure you pick it up and then port back to the Nexus. 
The next step is port to where you fought uh, Garl Vinland, and in the same location you'll see his Black Phantom. Kill him, and you'll get the Brom Hammer and the Vinland Crest. And now we're almost done with this with this guide. All you have to do is go back to the area where you fought the Black Phantom Selen, but this time with pure wide world tennis, you'll see her body form, talk to her, she'll ask for the Vinland Crest. And then once you give it to her, she'll give you the Dull Ring, and once you're done, I suggest you to kill her. If you kill her, she'll give you her armor set, but make sure that's the last thing you do in this area. Because if you kill her, your world tendency will shift towards black. If you finish her quest line and port back to the next and come back, she will not be there. But there's another way you can get the dull armor set is by killing the phosphorescent slugs. And that should be all for Valley of Defilement. If you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe for more Demon Souls content.